Chair of Computational Medicine and Bioinformatics here at the University of Michigan Medical School, and I have several other jobs here. But I have one um, thing that I do with passion, and that's uh, serve as the Chief Science Officer of the Transmark Foundation. And it's absolutely wonderful to see everybody here. Um, you know, a lot of old friends who are there just at the very beginning. Uh, Garrett Meyer up here, and, and Jan Willem, was, we were talking about uh, that meeting 18 months ago when uh, the brave in the pew about, uh, you know, as far as we could tell last night, is about, you know, less than 40, maybe 38, 40 people gathered here in Ann Arbor uh, just 18 months ago up on our North Campus Research Complex site and had a, had a founding meeting of the Transmart Foundation. And, um, you know, the, Mike, Bra Michael Braxenthaler, I, he's here somewhere, where is he? Uh, from the Pistoia Alliance and myself with uh, EK and Keith and the whole team, we um, saw something special here. You know, that uh, Dan Hausman is here from uh, the old recombinant, now Converge Health. You know, we saw something special here and we knew we had to do something. And so we started uh, building this team, working with all of you, and it's just been growing fabulously. Uh, you know, um, others here, uh, you know, we've got a big team. Uh, more, Gil Oman, who's the chairman of the board, is here somewhere. I saw him earlier. They were asking where he was. Kevin Smith over here. I think everybody knows him. You'll hear about from him in a minute. And uh, Terry Weymouth, many of you know him. I don't see him yet, uh, but he'll be here soon. He's got a little bit of a drive in. Um, these places here uh, are within two blocks of this place. We are on the central campus of the University of Michigan. The University of Michigan has five campuses that are kind of lined up, you know, including the athletic campus with the big football field, which is uh, down south of here that way. You know, uh, this is the law school, uh, the west uh, arch over right, uh, right down there. This is the inside of the law library. This is the College of Literature, Science, and Arts. They're within two blocks of here. This building is called the Michigan League. It used to be called the Ladies League. And the uh, Men's League was down the street, and now what we call the Michigan Union, which is a couple blocks away. So walk around. The Michigan Union was the place where John F. Kennedy announced his intention to um, start the Peace Corps. There's a lot of cool things here in this town. We're very proud of it. And, uh, you know, in between raindrops, uh, walk around. And you'll be able to see all this within two blocks of here, and it extends up to the medical campus and our engineering and arts campus and our North Campus Research Complex. So it, it sweeps about through six miles of this town. And, uh, you know, and, and we've got 19 schools and colleges here and many centers and programs. Um, this is one of these wordplay things. I don't know. I, you know, I, I, thought, I found it interesting, uh, you know, this is everybody here. You know, what's great is that, look at, look at us, this is over 120. It represents uh, Europe, Asia, North America, uh, industry, academics, not-for-profits. It's really exciting. And, you know, the program that the, the team has put together is absolutely great. It's a typo there. I guess we're just one state, United States, but anyway. Uh, I thought it was kind of interesting, uh, you know, the, the word thing just gets the first word. So Johns is Johns Hopkins, you know, and we have somebody from Johns Hopkins, and they're a member of our board. So it's kind of fun. Uh, and you can see, uh, you know, you can see the government there. You can see many of, uh, many of you, you know. It's great. Uh, you know, we wouldn't be anywhere with our, without our sponsors and Rudy Provenzone over here who's our uh, director of marketing and part of the management team, put together a, a fantastic uh, uh, group of sponsors. And uh, you're sitting here, and uh, we want to thank all of you for helping make this possible. I mean, you know, this is a volunteer organization to a large extent. It's a member organization. And, you know, and many of the sponsors have given more even than, you know, they've already given with their gold membership. So thanks very much for that. It's really great. And Rudy is right over here. Thank you, Rudy. Nice job. We even have some breaks sponsored, which is always nice because sometimes they actually uh, buy beer and wine. And I think uh, they've got that arranged for us later at the reception. Um, this is the planning committee. Uh, really, uh, this is this, you know, many of you know, this is the second annual um, Transmark Foundation uh, meeting. The first one was hosted by Sanapi in Paris. 
and uh, David Peruk and, and Jerry Cow and others helped pull that together brilliantly with the core Transmart Foundation team, and it was a huge success. As Keith will show in the beginning of the talk about the goals, you know, so much of what we've accomplished this year with the version 1.2 release and all the hard work was laid out in the Paris meeting last year. And so the challenge for this year is to lay out the kind of the detailed plans across our three committees, the three C committees, uh, for the next year. And so, uh, you know, the, um, the corporate partner for the three C committees are here, and they were as part of this planning committee and the foundation and uh, everything. So uh, it, it, it was a, a solid team effort, and the results are delivered here, and we're set up to have a, a perfectly good meeting. Um, and um, our chairman of the board, Gil Oman, we were looking for you, Gil. Hi, he's here. Uh, the logistics team. Uh, actually, there's been a ton of work here locally, you know, uh, to get make sure that this um, uh, meeting, uh, you know, launches the way it, it looks to be launching, a success, and stays successful. And uh, Kevin has been leading this. Jackie Troy is out there who's absolutely wonderful in putting these uh, large meetings together, is out there working the front, uh, and you know, Alex Tursion's over here on the video and the go-to meeting, uh, you know, and there's uh, been a great amount, of Aaron's right there, a very great amount of support, and Jackie and um, or Janet and Chrissy are out on that front desk. You know, these are all coming from our Department of Computational Medicine and Bioinformatics, which is really, you know, believe, have, we believed in this from the very start. You know, we got in early with our National Center for Integrative Biomedical Informatics. We work closely with the I2B2. Um, Paul is here. Zach Connie visited us uh, for two days as the OMEN lecturer two weeks ago, and we had long talks about I2B2 and Transmart. You're going to hear more about that later. And uh, we're, we're, a, we're a believer in this because uh, this kind of unique public-private partnership and bringing this diverse group together is absolutely core to the future of success for biomedical informatics, ranging from discovery in bioinformatics all the way to applied clinical. Not only in academic institutions, but in industry and not-for-profits. And you know, we're gonna see a lot of that today. We've got the um, Michael J. Fox folks are here with some exciting announcements. It's really gonna be a special meeting. Okay, um, here's a map. It's not as good as the pictures I showed, but there is a map we've got, uh, you know, Take a little walking tour just around here. You know, the bell tower's right out here, the law school library, which is world famous. Go look around a little bit. And, um, you know, it's really time to get to work. This, uh, does it, anybody recognize this? The locals do. That's part of the um, quite stunning uh, Diego Rivera uh, murals at the Detroit Institute of Art. You know, we shouldn't forget that, you know, we're here in southeast Michigan, in Detroit. One of the great centers that launched the auto industry is just down the street, right on a marvelous site on the river. And, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a place where industry is done. And, you know, this is just part of the uh, frescoes that uh, Diego Rivera painted on the plaster, you know, uh, <laughs> quite controversially in the 1930s. And, uh, you know, Luckily, we've been able to save all these things for future generations with the uh, work that's been done to preserve the Detroit Institute of Arts. And so uh, just as this uh, assembly line, back in the old Ford Highland Park days, in the Rouge plant, that's the Rouge plant, famous Rouge, I think it's time to get to work and to uh, focus deeply over the next few days and uh, have the success that we had in Paris here in Ann Arbor and uh, continue to grow and ultimately sustain the Transmart Foundation and the vision of Transmart as a platform for discovery and integration and analysis and ultimately uh, leading out to uh, helping to provide even things like cures, which I know some people here are very deeply interested in. So it's my pleasure as a representative of the University of Michigan and our Michigan team to welcome you to the second annual Transmart Foundation meeting. Okay, Kevin, I've done my thing. <laughs>